Hi there, I'm Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the Gauss chart. So Gauss chart is uh, basically also called as a speedometer chart and uh, this is similar to the component which you usually find in your car or bike dashboard where you see at which speed you are going or what is the fuel level etc kind of an information uh, on which uh, you can actually make some decision like if the fuel is really going low by the indication needle indicating then uh, you may need to stop by to a nearest fuel station and uh, buy some fuel for your car so similar kind of information uh, is shown over here but mostly into the business context so here we try to evaluate how our kpis or critical business metrics are performing by displaying it over this gauss chart so Gauss chart helps us indicate very clearly uh, where our current, uh, where our metrics are currently performing, or is there any action that we need to take based on whether they are falling, the numbers are falling in red, yellow, or green section. So to display uh, how we need to create this Gauss chart, let's move ahead and first see the data and try to understand it. So this is a very simple data where each geo uh, has their sales and their target information we are dividing sales by target and figuring out what is the what is their achievement for, uh, against the target so this is what the achievement uh, gauss chart that i have created for this demo let's create a similar one uh, and uh, try to configure that so for that right click on the new sheet go to new sheet object um, click on chart so here is your gauss chart click next so this gauss chart is a dimensionless chart we just uh, populate the uh, calculation metric calculation in the expression tab so we'll not do anything over here we'll go to the expression by clicking next and uh, expression is sum of sales divided by sum of target that's simple and we will call it achievement right so for now let's just click finish and see what it is giving so currently it is not giving us a very good look and feel just shows red at the top most whereas in this case we need it at the uh, left hand side i mean from the beginning to 40 percent is basically what we need as uh, red and then 40 to 80 is yellow and all that kind of stuff so for that we will configure its properties by right clicking over here going to the properties within the presentation tab so in this presentation tab currently it has mentioned auto weight segments so what we can do in this case uh, we can uncheck this either we can uncheck this and uh, specify uh, our uh, required percentages or the percentages which is uh, which we are interested in seeing or we we will let the click view decide based on the data that is given how uh, it wants to equally divide the segment and show it over there all right so let's uh, first see how auto weight segments will going to work in this case um, so for this we have already segment one segment two and we need to create one more segment let's call it add segment one two and three so for segment one let's change the color to red let's give it that color red uh, for segment two let's choose yellow click ok and for segment three green is fine let's click let's hit apply and I think that's what the desired one we needed. Now the next thing is to display these labels. So to display these labels, um, let's click on, let's see this section, show scale. So how many major units we want is basically four. Why four? So this one, two, three, and four and we want to show label on each major unit right click apply 
and OK. So I think we need to do a few more settings to display the numbers. Let's first uh, go into the number and uh, do some formatting changes. So achievement is in basically percentage. So we have just make it to fix two and show in percentage. Let's click OK. And I think that's what we really wanted. Uh, 0 to 33 percent to 67 200 I think uh, that is what uh, auto width segment basically to it, it basically gives you the equal width and accordingly it show the value now you can see I am showing the value over here of 80 percent and uh, how to show the similar value similar to this over here um, for that we need to right click go to properties um, click on again presentation that's then option text and chart click add so first you need to do some uh, equals to sign first and then sum of sales divided by sum of target let's see this what it is doing by simply putting it like this so it is generating some 80.39 and whatnot percentage so let's format this and uh, try to put the formatting option which is num comma formatting uh, we want full percentage so we will do this and close the bracket and click on apply so now it is coming as 80 percent that's what we wanted that's what we had done over there so but the question is to put or drag this value over here at the center of this so we will uh, press control and shift and then put our mouse on this 80 percent box and then hit the left key of the mouse and drag it down near to the location you want right still not very good so let's drag it a little bit more uh, Need more dragging towards the right. Think a little bit more. Yeah. So that's that's how uh, we can display the value. And now, if we select the value or this filter, it indicates how the needle is moving. All right. So this is the first option by having the auto width segment and then uh, uh, basically showing it on the uh, this cost chart these percentages and all the other option that we have is uh, basically uh, specifying our own percentage to define the color codings and all that 0 to say 40 percent is basically what we want for uh, red and uh, say 40 to 80 is yellow above anything 80 is basically green so if that is the case then we will again go into the properties click on or uncheck the auto width segments so minimum is zero so segment one it is showing us uh, the lower bound so what should be the lower bound for segment one so we will keep that uh, zero segment one to zero that it will start from zero and segment 2 will define the upper limit of segment 1 and we will say 0 0.5 and segment 3 to 0 0.8 so from 0 to 0 0.5 will be red from 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 will be yellow anything above 0 0.8 will be green that's what we are specifying so let's click OK and see what it is doing here so as per our specification from 0 to half of the speedometer it is basically showing us the 50% um, the part which should be in red and then from 50 to 80% is basically yellow anything above 80% is green only thing we need to do is we need to have some adjustment for these values which we are showing so for that we need to right click again go to properties and the option we need to change is this show 
three major units and let's click on apply and okay so now it's perfectly all right zero to fifty percent is what we want from fifty percent to eighty percent it's basically uh, yellow part from from eighty percent to hundred percent is the green part so the one last thing uh, which is still pending is uh, still adjustment and showing the 80 percent part now uh, from 0 to 50 50 to 80 and 80 to 100 so for that uh, we need to make some little adjustment uh, by making 100 to 120 percent so that whenever we are showing four units it is perfectly distributed between uh, 0 to 40 40 to 80 and 80 to 120 in this case so let's right click on the properties and just say 1.2 and here show it for right so as of now uh, we are showing four ticks that's why it is coming 0 to 40 earlier it was coming 50 but 50 it should appear here so that's the kind of adjustment or understanding we need to have in such scenario and uh, now uh, with this adjustment we have created a chart similar to this showing us uh, what we really need uh, from this cost chart and it should work perfectly fine after this you must be seeing that 41 million is what we have uh, mentioned over here which is not currently mentioned over here so for that uh, we will just need to use the text object I will right click on the sheet click on the uh, text object and I will simply write sum of sales and percent millions I will just say layout on top and finally color is 100% transparent or the white I'll just say transparent so that it will take whatever color you know which is being so in this case I am showing both percentages as well as uh, the number which is coming as an achievement. So I hope uh, you will find this video useful and I will meet you in the next video some new topic.